around SBR Sports Picks. My name is Peter Loshak. It is week two in college football. Today is Thursday, uh, September 7th. We're talking with Joe Gavassi from Joe Gavassi Sports about uh, a selection of games that go this Saturday in college football. And right now we're going to talk about a very interesting game for several reasons. Uh, we've been discussing it in our morning shows uh, kind of uh, regularly, Joe Gavassi, and this game is uh, Middle Tennessee and Syracuse. This is interesting for a bunch of reasons. First of all, Middle Tennessee took notable sharp action uh, in week one, and uh, of course uh, they didn't come close to covering. The sharp action was wrong on that side and, uh, and took a loss. Now they're going into a Syracuse for their next game, and this line has moved in Syracuse's favor. It opened around 8.5. Now it's up to 10 market-wide. There are still some 9.5s, but it's mostly 10 market-wide. And, of course, uh, we do have uh, two uh, supposedly high-powered offenses here. Syracuse, of course, coached by Dino Babers, uh, has a very pass-heavy offense, and B Babers teams usually take a big step up in the second year. And uh, the, high to the total opened high and uh, has just been bet higher. It's now up to uh, 76. Syracuse also returns a lot of um, a lot of uh, experience, one of the most experienced teams in the country in terms of returning talent. So they're in general not a team that I'm looking to bet against uh, right now, especially uh, in the early going, unless they're going up against elite competition. Right now we have Syracuse at home minus ten in the Carrier Dome, and the uh, and the total is seventy six. Middle Tennessee State took sharp action last week. Not sure how the sharps feel about this one. What do you feel about this one, Joe Gavassi? This is my hidden gem of the week, and I think I've got the winner for you, and it may be a bit of a surprise. Mm -hmm. Last year, mm -hmm. in these last week in these videos, I introduced you to Joe Moglia, the head coach of Coastal Carolina. This week, I want you to meet Scott Schaefer. Scott Schaefer is the offensive coordinator of Middle Tennessee State. He was responsible in part for the fact the Blue Raiders averaged 40 points a game last year and over 517 yards a game highly successful in that role. What we aren't sure about is the fact that two years ago, he got fired as head coach of Syracuse. Believe me, he will be hungry, along with quarterback Stockstill, to make amends for that firing when he returns to the Carrier Dome today. He'll be facing a Syracuse team who, although experienced, was one of the worst defensive teams in the year last year. And why do you want a defense with a lot of returning starters when they give up 40 points a game? Middle Tennessee is a hungry team. They lost their bowl game last year, and they lost in week one against Vanderbilt, a very solid defensive team. Now they take a big step downward in the defensive team they face, and I expect a huge offensive performance from them. I'm going to make this the hidden gem game of the week and tell you that it will not surprise me if Middle Tennessee State wins this game outright. Wow. And yes, it wow. will be a high scoring affair. Wow. All right. Right now the market uh, market wide it's 10. Heritage appears to have a, a lean towards Middle Tennessee State. They have nine and a half. Everyone else has 10 solid and uh, Pinnacle doesn't even have a lean. It's 106 on both sides and the total is 76. Interesting matchup. Really, really glad we covered this one, Joe Gavazzi. Really glad to hear your take on this one. Joe Gavazzi, like in Middle Tennessee, plus 10, the small chance of an outright win. This is what Joe Gavazzi does. Tell us what you do at your website, JoeGavazziSports.com. It is JoeGavazziSports.com, and I don't know any professional better who wins consistently without a good money management theory. I have one, which I wrote, be which I wrote before I opened my phone lines clear back in 1979. I want to share it with you, and I can do that when you go to jogavazisports.com and click on Money Management. Please do it and make yourself a winner. All right. Thanks so much, Joe Gavazzi. Well, this episode of The Odds Couple is over. But if you give us a like and click SBR's logo at the bottom of the screen to subscribe, then you'll get all the upcoming videos as soon as they come out. And don't forget to take advantage of our website. There's free picks, live betting lines, and sportsbook reviews, and ratings guides, and a whole lot more. Check it out now.